can still sing, you know? That's good. Hey, I wonder, while I'm sitting over here, let, let me do this. Um, one of my favorite things to do, and you're not going to believe this, but this is true. One of my favorite things to do is a sound check. And, uh, and I'll tell you why that is. It's because every building is different. And it's just really interesting to come in and hear the different sounds that you hear when you're doing sound check. And so when, usually the way we do it, we come in, set up, and then I sit here and I play uh, chords on the piano. And Rodney walks around and he sits in different seats to make sure it sounds the same everywhere. And Chris stands over there and plays with buttons. And, and then every now and then he'll think that he recognizes uh, the chords I'm playing and he'll get his microphone and he'll start singing. Well, most of the time, he starts singing songs that I'm really not playing. And, but, <laughs> but I don't ever say anything. I just, whatever he starts singing, I just follow him, you know, just play along. Well, we were in Chicago, Illinois this past summer, and uh, we were really tired. We'd, we'd flown all night to get there, and, and so we rushed to get our sound check done, and I was sitting here just fiddling around, playing chords, you know, and Chris thought he knew what I was playing, and... He got his mic and he started singing, and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't the song that I was playing, but it was a song that I knew. And uh, I remembered probably 18 years ago it was, he told me that that song that he was singing was his grandfather's favorite song. Chris's grandfather was uh, what I would call an old-timey evangelist. He was a kind of evangelist that would uh, he'd preach a little while, and then right in the middle of his sermon, he would just start singing. And he would sing a verse of a song that had something to do with the sermon. And then he would go back to the sermon. Well, I never got to hear him sing this song, but I heard Chris sing it that afternoon. And every now and then, when it's the right audience, I'll ask him to sing it for me. And I, I love this audience, so I want you to hear. Uh, and every one of you in here will know this song. Uh, but I want you to hear what I heard in Chicago several months ago. Right? Why should I feel? Discouraged Why should the shadows come Why should my heart feel lonely And long for hell Oh. 